Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be testing and giving you my first impressions, true first impressions, because I literally opened them on camera today for the first time on the new cosmetics line, Jason Wu, available at Target. Jason Wu is a fashion designer and his new cosmetics line has a claim to be like luxury, high-performing makeup at affordable prices. So I was really excited to test and try these products out. I picked up three products. I picked up one of his eyeshadow palettes. I picked up one of his lip pencils and I picked up a lipstick. Definitely tempted to get more products, but I wanted to start with these three because I felt like, well, one, I was just most excited about, you know, color cosmetics. Um, and I thought you guys would be interested too. This is the makeup look the, that I created. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the video and I'm starting with foundation and all that on. So, um, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look and hear my final thoughts on the Jason Wu collection, then just keep watching. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot to mention. I do want to make a few call outs for the brand because I want to do the brand justice. So, um, according to Jason Wu beauty.com, they claim to be cruelty free. Jason Wu beauty loves animals. And we're happy to say that all of our products are cruelty free. Love that. And it's clean beauty. So if you want to go to their website, they have their black list of ingredients that their products are free of. And then social cause Jason Wu beauty will be donating 1% of its net sales to gay men's health crisis, a cause very important to Jason. So gotta love a brand that is cruelty free and that gives back. So, um, all right, you guys, now let's go ahead and jump into first impressions, tutorial, final thoughts. Okay. So I have my lids primed and prepped. I use the Trish McAvoy, um, eyeshadow primer. It's my favorite eyeshadow primer. I think that it's impossible. Uh, if a shadow doesn't perform well, when I have this primer on, then it's definitely a dud. Let's just say that. Okay. So I'm going to go in first and I'm going to go in with this lightish transition shade right here and we're going to sweep this into the crease. It's a pretty light shade. So I'm going to kind of sweep it all across. Oh, okay. Wow. That's nice. It is a light shade, but it goes on slightly deeper than I expected and it has a really good payoff. That's really nice because it is lighter. I'm okay using a bigger, fluffier brush like this. Cause I'm okay if that color kind of spreads in a larger surface area. Ooh, that's really beautiful. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade, and these two actually look really similar to each other. Oh, I got this one wet. The only difference is this one is slightly darker. I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here, the lighter of the two. They're very similar though, which I'm kind of surprised at. Well, one of them's definitely more orange than the other. So we're gonna go in with the bottom one. It's a little lighter and a little more, um, has more of an orange base to it. And we're gonna pop that right in the outer corner. These shadows are really nice. They have really good pigmentation. They blend out really easily. They're very consistent. And I find that mostly the matte shadows are harder to really get right. These are good. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a little deeper and kind of more ochre-ish of a shade. And I'm gonna take the same brush and we are going to to kind of just build right on that outer corner just to deepen it slightly. I love this shade range. For the lid, I'm gonna go in and pack on this shade right here. It is just a real like pretty, really kind of, it looks almost looks like a shadow topper. I'm gonna see how much color I get off. I'm using the BK Beauty 207 brush, which is basically like the most dense, smallest brush that we have. So if this doesn't pack on color, then I will probably need to use my finger. Okay, so you get lots of shimmer, but you don't really get a lot of coverage or color from this. So what I mean by that is it's kind of sheer. You can just see like specks of glitter, but you still see your skin coming through it. Let me use my finger and see if that helps. So I'm really loading my finger up. Okay, that definitely helps. Um, a little tiny bit of fallout, but that's expected. Okay, that's nice and pretty. You definitely you need to use your finger if you want like that really opaque coverage. I wanna wet my brush now and see how that changes. So I'm gonna use the same brush, but this time I'm gonna spray it with a little setting spray. And I'm gonna go right into that shadow. Let's see how this works. No, nope, not as good as the finger. The finger works best. So if you want to top this on top of another shadow, maybe not. But if you want like full like opacity and color, you need to use your finger. I don't think I'm really a fan of this formula. Um, and not necessarily like, you know, this particular brand, but just overall, like this really sparkly eyeshadow topper that's kind of sheer in color. It's just not my thing. Um, I know it can be pretty for special occasions, but 
it's hard to get right, I should say. I should say that. It's just hard to get right. I would love it if just was had more color and went on a little smoother and consistent, then I could I, I would love it. But I just feel like it's they're very challenging to work with sometimes. And now I did have some fallout, which usually wouldn't bother me, but the fact that it's really shimmery, it's very difficult to just brush away without being left with all of that shimmer. Do you guys see that? Ah, what are we gonna do here? Let's clean this up. Um, let's just take a foundation brush. Okay, well I might just be left with a little extra highlight there. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little more depth. I'm gonna use this shade right here and we are going to pop that in the inner crease, and in the outer crease, I'm sorry. We're gonna use the same 202 brush. Okay, so I have to say, I'm not really loving this color combination and I'm looking at the palette to see what I would have done differently. And I don't really know that I would have had a whole lot of options of different looks to do. You know, you've got this white shade here, you've got this like really light banana shade, um, and then you have these three shimmers. And then these shades are, I mean, there is some variance here, but these are very similar. So I don't really know what I would have created that's that much different than this, of course, unless I did an all matte look. I actually placed the order like online and curbside pickup. So I didn't really, well, I chose, I should say I chose it by looking online and the image online for this looked different to me than the actual palette. So I need to see what the others look like in person. I might've made a different selection. Okay, let's just try and make the best of this. I'm gonna go in and apply my liner and I'm using the Makeup by Mario liner. So I'll go ahead and line my eyes real quickly. Not loving that. I'm gonna tight line my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil in Black. For my lower lashes, I'm gonna take this shade here and we're gonna run this on the lower lash line. So I do like the mattes. The mattes are very nice. They have a good level of pigment. They blend out nicely. So I'm not really able to get uh, as deep of a lower lash line from the palette, but that's okay. You know, it's not intended to be liner. Um, so I am gonna go in with a black pencil and I'm going to create a little bit of a line on the outer, small little outer corner of my lower lash line. I usually don't line this area with black. Um, I usually use a dark brown. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep it really thin. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to smudge that out with this shadow here from the palette. We will use this one. That's better. That gives me a good level of depth that I want and it looks really nice. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Okay, so I've got my makeup done. Um, the only really complaint I have is how I had that fallout here and now I have like a glitter that is kind of impossible for me to remove. Um, but as far as the mattes, they're really, really nice. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner and this is the Stay In Line Lip Liner. So I got the shade Adore and it looks like it comes in five options and it retails for 19, I'm sorry, 19, 9.99. It's a $10 lip pencil. It is one that you, does require a sharpener. So I don't know if that matters. I know that I did a poll a while back and asked you guys what you preferred and most of you preferred a mechanical pencil. Ooh, this color is beautiful. Really nice lip pencil. Good pigmentation, really creamy. It glides on really soft and smooth. I did have a little bit of lip balm on before, but this is nice. This is one of those cut type of lip pencils that you can really fill in the whole lip with. <clears throat> and it'll look almost like a lip stain or a lipstick because it's so soft and creamy. This color is perfection. I love this color. If you like like a real soft peachy pink, you would like this color. It's more pink than peach, but it's definitely a warm pink. I love this lip pencil. Okay, good job. I'm like losing my voice over here. Okay, and the last product that I picked up is the uh, lipstick and I got the shade, let's see what shade I got here. I got this shade Biscotti. And again, this was just something that I saw online and I thought that I would like the shade. This is what the lipstick looks like. It's kind of got this interesting like soft touch texture to the packaging. Really cute, modern. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Okay, we're gonna go with it because it is the only shade I got, but it is a very, very brown, um, brown color. So let's see. Oh, okay, not bad. Definitely pleasantly surprised by that. At looking at the bullet, I expected it to be like drab brown, but it actually looks really nice. It's a little warmer than I expected. It could be because of the lip pencil, but I think it works with this lip pencil. Very pretty. Uh, the texture of this feels 
very much like a, almost like a creamy matte. So it's not dry like a matte, but it's not real glossy or rich like a cream, but the pigment is really rich. You get a good uh, level of pigment from this. Like I'll just show you here. So this is just kind of like one swatch. You see that you get a really nice, rich color payoff, but it's not a thick or sticky, well I shouldn't say sticky, it's not a thick consistency, it's not a thick formula. That's really nice. It feels very lightweight on the lips. It has a very soft kind of glide or slip to it. That's a nice lipstick. I like the lipstick. I definitely will pick this up in a couple other shades and I definitely will pick up more of the lip pencils. Okay, so I like the way that the makeup came out. Um, let me talk about each particular product and what I like or what I disliked about it. Um, overall, I was really impressed with the three products that I purchased. I enjoyed applying all three of them. I think that they all three have uh, great quality. The only um, kind of complaints I guess I would have would be the shade range in this particular palette, but again, you know, it's nine shades. I don't necessarily think that it's a bad shade range. I just wish that I would have gone in person and looked at the other three options and picked something that had a little more versatility in it. The uh, matte shades in here are really nice, really beautiful. And you know, in fact, I didn't apply a highlight to my brow, so let's do that real quickly. Um, Oh, you know what? We're gonna work with a brand new brush, a brand new 206 brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip right in here to the white one and I'm gonna mix the yellow too. And we're just gonna dust this underneath the brow. Um, all the other matte shades that I used are really nice. Yeah, this one too, really good. You get good uh, pigment, they're creamy and they're consistent mattes. They're not patchy at all, they blend out beautifully. Yeah, I really love the matte formula in this is nice. The uh, topper shades or the sparkle shades, what are they calling them here on here? Um, they are calling them. So I don't actually see a formula name for the shimmer shades, but they're definitely not like a typical shimmer shade. Um, they're more like a topper kind of glittery shade. This is kind of what they look like on my finger when you swatch it, which keep in mind on the finger, you're gonna get like the most color payoff. When you actually apply it on the lid, they're more sheer and you kind of just get like chunks of glitter. You can definitely layer it and pack it on with your finger, but it's very difficult to do it with a brush. These I'm probably not going to lean for or use very much. Not necessarily a knock on the brand, more so a kind of a personal preference of my own formulas and shadows that I prefer and that I don't. Uh, but like I said, the mattes blend beautifully, really nice. The lip liner, really love this lip liner. I mean, I, I love everything about it. I love the color, I love the formula. It's soft and creamy, it has good pigment. You can apply it all over the lips. Um, really, really knocked it out of the park with this lip liner. I definitely will go and pick up more more shades in this, uh, as well as the lipstick. I really like this lipstick. It's lightweight, but rich in pigment. It's pretty much like one swipe and you get full you know, pigment payoff. It's not a lipstick that you really need to build. Um, so with that said, you know, sometimes we like lipsticks that are more versatile and you can apply something sheer and then build it for more pigment. But with that said, this is just a really good, solid, fully pigmented, lightweight lipstick. And this shade, actually, I'm surprised. I like more than I thought I would when I looked at the tube of it in the bullet. I was like, whoa, that is pretty brown, but it works real nicely with this lip pencil. So I will pick up more of these lipsticks for sure. So overall, really pleased with this brand, excited to pick up more products. If you have tried Jason Wu from Target, um, let me know your thoughts on it. If you purchased any other products that I didn't showcase here, uh, let us all know. What are your thoughts, pros, cons? What shades did you get? Um, let's have a conversation in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.